something you brought out early. You Micah 7 in verse 2, because the brother asked a good question early. I don't know if y'all was around. The brother asked, why is it that we as a people are so hateful to one another, right? Because we see that in our communities. Even walking up and down the streets right now in Savannah, you can walk amongst one of your own brothers and guess what? They want to fight. They might, they might kill you. But guess what? The so-called white man can walk up and down the street and won't, none of us want to touch him. Right. Because we look at them as God. Read what you got. Micah chapter 7 verse 2. Bring it up. The good man is perished. You see that? The Bible says that the good man is perished. How do we know what a good man is? Is it somebody who will buy you dinner? What's a good man? What's a good man according to God? How do we know? Righteous man. How do we know? How do we know what righteousness is? We got to go to the Bible to define it. Get that. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. So the Bible is going to tell us what's that good man that he talking about perish. Read. Wherefore the law is holy. Okay, the law is holy. Read on. And the commandment holy. Uh-huh. And just. Uh-huh. And good. God's law, statutes, and commandments is what's good. Right. That's what is a good man. A man that you see keeping the laws of God. Not whoring out his sisters. Not smoking weed. Keeping the Lord's Sabbath. Now go back to Micah 7 and verse 2. Micah chapter 7 verse 2. Uh-huh. The good man is perished. Ain't no good men out here now. Look at your people. Turn around. You see all your people. People, everybody drunk, everybody looking to get laid tonight. Don't nobody want to hear the word of God. Right. Yet, you know what we're going to say on Sunday? You know what we're going to say on Sunday? We're going to be in the church dancing, talking about God, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Right? We say that with our mouth. But guess what? With our actions, we don't show that we love God. Read on. The good man is perished uh -huh. out of the earth. Uh -huh. And there is none upright uh -huh. among men. You see that? The Lord said it's none upright. Read on. They all lie. They all what? They all lie and wait for blood. You see that? Our people lie and wait for blood. Don't we wait to kill one another? We ready to put one another to death. The Lord knows his people better than anybody. Great. They hunt every man his brother. You see that? They hunt every man his brother. Because like I said, we can walk down the street. I can step on somebody's shoe by mistake. He ready to put me to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? My own brother. Yet the white man can come down here, spit in your face. He done hung your people on the trees. Downtown Savannah. What, 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 what's those trees called over there? What's it called? I'm talking about the name. Anyway, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, go to... Um, and what I was about to get you. Read that again. I was about to get you close to Micah chapter 7 verse 2. Uh -huh. The good man is perished uh -huh. out of the earth. Read on. And there is none upright uh -huh. among men. Read on. They all lie in wait for blood. Now, that give me Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Because what I want to talk about is what we out here doing tonight. What are we doing tonight? What are we doing tonight? Uh, Brother right here, tell me what we're doing tonight. We're trying to bring our people back, man. Huh? We're trying yeah. to bring our people prior back. Prior to that, prior to that. We know that now, right? But what, are, what is the purpose of our people being out here tonight? Drinking. Huh? Drinking. Having fun. Doing all that, right? Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Does, does God approve of these things? No. So why do we do them? Because they want to do it. Why though? It's in their mind. It's in their mind front. Okay, we're going to find out what the Bible says. Read that. Galatians 5 and 19. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. Read up. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. So the Bible is about to display to us what's the works of the flesh, meaning sin, right? Because this flesh we live in is sin, right? Read on. Which are these? Uh-huh. Adultery. Adultery. Are our people in the midst of adultery? Yeah. You see pastors getting put to death for adultery, right? And they're the ones that's supposed to be leading our people. Right. Yet they sleep sleeping with your wives. People taking your child numbers, money, right? Numbers. We put our people to death all the time for sleeping with for sleeping with each other's wives. Read on. Fornication. Fornication. Don't do not. Uh, we commit fornications on a daily basis. Everybody that's out here tonight is looking to commit fornication. That's right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Uncleanness. Uh huh. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Our people are lascivious, aren't they? Read on. Lasciviousness means going into pretty much sexual desires, things like that. Go going into fornication, 
all of those things. Lascivious just means evil sexual, evil sexual thoughts. Great. Idolatry. Idolatry. Remember, we talked about earlier. We talked about earlier about you celebrating St. Patrick's Day. How many of y'all celebrate Christmas? Keep it real. Who celebrate Christmas? We celebrate Christmas, right? And we know in our minds that Christmas got nothing to do with God. We know that. But guess what? Because it's the traditions of the world, we say, listen, I'm going to buy my kids gifts. That's the psychology that they put on us. Because they know as long as we in sin, we're going to stay at the bottom. Great. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Oh, 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 oh. Hatred. Hatred. We just talked about that. Read on. Variance. Uh huh. Emulations. Emulations. Read. Red. Uh huh. Strength. Uh huh. Seditions. Read on. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for one. Heresy. Uh huh. Envying. Murders. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Now, that's a heavy one amongst our people tonight, right? Because how many people you done seen walk past here drunk as hell? A bunch of us, right? The Bible says we're not supposed to be drunk. We could drink, but we're supposed to what? Drink in moderation, correct? But we drunk to get sloppy drunk, to get laid. Then guess what? We get a girl pregnant. Do we take care of the kid? No. no. Is that my baby? Rick. Revelings! Revelings. That's the party. That's, the, that's all of this you see going on. Great. And such like uh -huh. of the which I tell you before, uh -huh. as I have also told you in time past, uh -huh. that they which do such things. So, they which do these things, right? The envyings, the strife, right? The revelings, the drunkenness, right? Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. God yeah. said you will not inherit the kingdom. But guess what? Our people think that we will get the kingdom. Get me Isaiah 30. That's what I wanted to get. Isaiah 30. 29, 13. Get that first. Somebody had a question? He left. He left? He okay, up. get that. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord said, uh -huh. for as much as this people draw near me, with their mouth. Because our people love to say what? I love God. We draw near God with our mouths, right? Right. And with their lips do honor me. Uh-huh. But have removed their heart far from me. What is your heart? The Lord says we've removed our hearts from God. What is your heart? Is he talking about the vessel that pumps the blood? Is that what he's talking about? The mind. Get that. Mark 7 and 21. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Bring it out. For from within, out of the heart of men, uh -huh. proceed evil thoughts. Evil what? Thoughts. Evil what? Thoughts. Hold on. But it said out of the heart, right? So how can I think out of my heart? Don't you use your mind to think? Don't thoughts come out of your mind? So when the Bible uses heart, it's talking about your mind, like my brother said right here. You see that? It says out of your out of your heart or your mind proceed the evil thoughts. Those are the things that we in the midst of now. So now you gotta say to yourself, this is the number one question we all got, right? Get uh what is it? Luke 19, 19 and 16, the kingdom uh Matthew. Get that. Because don't you want to go to heaven? What we know of as heaven, right? We all want to go to heaven, right? We want the kingdom, right? We want to do good. But how do we do that? That's the question we all should be asking. How do we inherit the kingdom of heaven? You see the news. You see the world. You see the condition of your people. Guess what? America the Great is going to be destroyed soon. Guess what? If y'all don't get it right, y'all going to go right along with America. Right. If you read the scriptures, you know Christ said what? Watch ye and pray. Watch ye and pray. That means study. Watch the news. Watch the world. Watch what's going on. The scriptures say he gonna come back as a thief in the night. When the thief comes to rob you, does you know? They, do you know he coming? No. No. The scriptures say we gonna be making merry. Some people gonna be getting married. There's gonna be parties going on. Right. You got it. You got to use your mind in this time period. Right. Matthew. I got chapter you. nineteen, verse sixteen. Bring it up. And behold. One came and said unto him, good master. So, somebody came to Christ and said, good master, right? right. What good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? 
eternal life. So he said, what good thing shall I do to get the kingdom of heaven, right? Because we all want the kingdom, right? right? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Christ said, why are you calling me good, right? There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. He said, there's none good but God, showing you that there's no trinity. Right. They're too different. Right here, Christ showed respect to God. He said, I'm not good. He said, but God is good, right? Right. right. But if thou wilt enter into life. So if you want eternal life, right. keep the commandments. You That's right. Keep the commandments. It's simple. All we got to do is keep God's commandments and the whole world is ours. Right. 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 The whole world. We're talking about rulership on this. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.